my soul wait to baby so what's up guys how are you doing now good morning afternoon evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are doing okay this morning please try as much as possible to like this video first and uh comment as you watch and then i invite your loved one guys this message is especially for south africans you know the game is over we have moved past that there is no need for threats there is no need for argument it is in fact known that many nigerian men are married to many Nigerian south african women there is no need for beef between us but this threat coming recently towards our own goalkeeper in fact some group of people are already threatening him that he shouldn't come to south africa again instead do not come to south africa and you know south africans do not play if South Africa should issue you a threat, be careful. Because all those guys here, eh, you can use as low as 100 rands to buy life over there. Just go and ask how much the person who shot, uh, aka from the back, how much he was paid. I think that person was paid lesser than 2,000 rands. Just go and ask. And the person who shot Lucky Dube wasn't even paid a dime. He just shot lucky to be so because of those uh, occurrences that is why we really need to take such threats really serious our goalkeeper played an absolute game absolutely fine game no beef between us now you see why the other time i i was saying the beef between us and south africa is a personal I never mean it to be like a fight or something. I say this personal because of our history together, because of some attacks, you know now. But yet again, we never retaliated. We, re re we retaliated through game and because of the Grammy Award as well. It was all love. But your threat towards our, our goalkeeper is what we are not going to tolerate. The, the, my biggest, the biggest problem we've had, we've gotten some messages where people have sent uh, uh, messages to the goalkeeper threatening him. I hear some people telling him, don't come back to South Africa since you the, you, you didn't want us to score. Stay back when your team is playing. This, this, this is unacceptable. We've not heard of any violence, but just threats. They've been threatening him and threatening some people, but I, we didn't see any violence yesterday. So why are you guys threatening him, man? Because he played for a South African club? Ah, uh, this guy is living his dream. He's our number one uh, goalkeeper now. So you guys are threatening our goalkeeper. It's like threatening the entire Nigerian. So you guys, well, I know the good people of South Africa will not support this, but whoever is sending our goalkeeper, uh, our goalkeeper private messages and telling him not to come to South Africa, you better be one, man. You better be one. You can do that ish to your fellow artists, to your fellow footballers your uh, athletes and whatever you want to do it to but don't do it to our own africa giants please do not try that do not try it uh, our goalkeeper is us and we are our goalkeeper so if you hurt in you are hurting us directly we do not have any beef with you guys the only beef i think you guys truly have with us eh? despite you guys will not agree because of the shame towards it is that so Nigeria men are taking over your women. You're going to call it drugs, so you're going to call it another thing. Yeah, excuses like uh, Nigeria are Nigerians are selling drugs, they're doing uh, illegal activities over there. It's a big lie. It's a big lie. That's your excuses. But the main reason is because Nigeria men are taking over your women. It's hard. It's hard for you to see a South African woman, a South African man. A South African man marry a Nigerian woman. It's hard. I've, I've not seen before. But there might be, but I've not seen before. But it's really, really easy to see Nigerian men marrying South African women. In fact, you guys are, we are helping you with your domestic challenges. Domestic challenges, we are helping you with that. We are helping you with your businesses. We are helping you with your marriage challenges as well. So all you have to do is just good, give us kudos and respect. Hmm? Respect. 
That's all. And meanwhile, we have lost so much already. It has been reported that five persons in Nigeria died during the game between uh, South Africa and Nigeria. Five persons already. Three well notable people in the society, one cop uh, member, NYSC member, and one family man. I don't know if they have any health issues before, but five persons were lost during that match because that match was so intense. Even myself, I kind of like had a little bit of high blood pressure at that time. Let me not be, let me be honest with you guys. Even myself, I was even wondering. So why am I so pissed? Why am I so uh, entangled in this match? Because I was, I, I, I wasn't feeling okay. I was heartbroken. I was happy at the same time. So those old men that died, the three well notable people, two are politicians, two well known politicians, and one a well known businessman, and one just a father who has uh, kids in his house, and the other one a NYSC uh, member. Four, you know, five persons died. May their gentle soul continue to rest in paradise. I don't know how. They are going to be judged. They say they die because of football, which is okay, though. Is they, I think they had their serious health issues before. And please, the upcoming game that is coming huh, between uh, Nigeria and uh, Ivory Coast, please, if you know you have any health issue that has to do with heart matter or whatsoever, you cannot take eh, pressure. Please do not watch that match. It's an advice. Don't watch it. As a Nigerian, do not watch the match because this is the first time we are hearing five persons died watching that match. Five persons just like that because of macho. But that should tell you how excited that match was, how tough it was. That match tough, was really, really tough. Like, like I've said before, I was so... When I was watching it, I, I was telling myself how... Because of the my adrenaline was so high, I was pissed. This minute I'm happy. The next seconds I'm pissed. My heart is beating whenever uh, the ball goes over to South Africa and they start uh, pushing to our to our box. You know, I was so like it was really really tough, and that to just show you the beauty of it. We are, we've already lost so much already as Nigerian. So South Africa should go out to it. That is just my basic. We are saying it. South Africa should go out to it. They should just take defeat and take defeat just the way it is. Huh? You guys have the Grammy now. So we beat you guys well, mercilessly, because you guys, we know Grammy is not football. Football is won by how well you played. Grammy is won by politics. So you understand what I mean. Despite we already know that uh, Tyler Water do not represent African music. It represents white music, but all the same, Tyler is an African. So, okay, they gave it to Tyler. But if we are honest, it doesn't worth it. That water, Tyler Water doesn't worth African domination being winning that award. But Tyler Water can win any other award from RRB category or any other category, but not Africa category. Tyler worth an award. Tyler Water worth an award, but it doesn't worth the Africa category award for Grammy. That is just our plain uh, concern. Mm? So let it be love, guys. Leave our keeper alone. Stop. Stop. Stop threatening our keeper. Leave our keeper alone. And meanwhile, according to our Nigerian army, they said, support us to the end, to end the security the way you are supporting Super Eagles and the Nigeria artists. That is coming from army. Nigeria army are begging.
such a beautiful world though but if we go really come back here to understand something there hmm? we're going to support the army regardless whether you are willingly or unwillingly you will support the uh, the army because you will pay tax indirectly and directly to the army yeah we are the one funding the army so whether you will support who, or you don't support who, you will support by force by fire directly or indirectly that being said but if we still look at it the other way, eh? the artists do not flog us now. The Nigeria uh, soccer team do not beat us. Hmm? It's you guys that beat us with Koboko, you flog us, you oppress us, any little thing, you wear your uniform to oppress us, to call up bloody civilian. Hmm? That's the truth anyway. But that doesn't mean we are not going to support you guys regardless. We do not have a say on that if we will support you or not support you. Eh? We must support you. So that's just that's the way it is. Despite the politics, we feel like you guys are playing. We have always supported you guys. We supported a lot of you guys. Hmm? Despite the beating and the, the, the heel treatment towards us, beating us, oppressing us, and doing all those things, we are going to support you regardless. But that being said, Thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, Gadam Slink. Have a wonderful day and a precious day.